Alright, welcome back everyone. So what we're doing today is we're going through the cleaning process of, for the walk. The um, what I had what I had to do was I took a 80 grit sandpaper um, wheel and I sanded it all down. I'm boiling water in it right now just so I can take all the impurities out. So right now I'm on on only propane. I mean on the yeah propane tank. Tomorrow would be a wood burning. Uh, wood burning cook. I did manage to take off the wheels with my plasma cutter. And the little mesh that was here. It was a good idea, but it, it created more of a hazard, not hazard, but just I couldn't get to clean it really good over the years, so I just took it off and now I can get a good clean surface all the way around. So I'm going to boil it a couple times until I start seeing that the water starts coming out clear. And then I'm going to take regular lard and go just real thin coats and start seasoning it. Let me give you a little tour of what this looks like. If I can get you off of here. Okay. All right. So I did end up. I did end up putting my wheels on. I bolted on the uh, the bolt there, and I put my my wheels on that so I managed to just get the brick uh, laid down and then I've made a little wall just to keep the air out and to focus that heat onto the onto the walk so I moved it it traveled really well um, from the garage Let's see how long it takes for this to start. So I've had this walk for over 10 years at least. No, it's been longer than that probably as long as I've been married, so 15 years. And I left it in the garage and outside and pretty much anywhere. It was it just because it was so bulky.
it is really really sturdy compared to to the turkey fryer that i had cooking last year that i had just to to do this and then i made a, a stand you know for all the in the backyard all the bricks and all that this is like extremely sturdy it's not going anywhere even on the tires Like this it takes it doesn't take but half of the time the other day i was there for hours trying to, to clean it with the with the turkey fryer so when you isolate that that heat all the way up it, that heat goes straight onto that wall thing on there I don't I go small just so I can clean it up first I'll try not to leave any dirt behind I know it's a little bit of overkill but I know it's gonna last me a lot longer the season
I'll lower it down a little bit. A little bit too hot right there above five six five seventy what you want it is four seventy five or something right five hundred around there that's a that's about season temperature right there see that five sixty five eighty still a little bit too hot I'm 
Before I turn it off, I'm ready to cook now, but I'm not gonna cook till tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve, so I'm gonna shut it down. <clears throat> For the last wipe, No solids at all. That's just some of the This is a good base. I'll continue to season it. The problem with these these walks is that they don't get an even heat around it so I think I'm gonna design something either some type of outlets to where I can direct the heat around the lip and I can get more heat distribution up a, up above because a lot of times you can't get anything above here but as you use it you start accumulating um, the season on it and it starts getting better that's a good start <clears throat> start cooking bacon and stuff like that on it and uh, it'll be non-stick before you know it <clears throat> We're gonna let it cool off and uh, I'll start meal prepping in the morning. Or not meal prepping, but uh, I'll start prepping for, for the guisado tomorrow. Uh, I bought uh, two boneless um, pork butts at uh, Costco. Uh, Costco has always been pretty consistent when it comes to their meat. So, I mean, it's decently priced too. Uh, it was cheaper than the place that I go usually and buy, uh, you know, like pork and stuff is uh, the Michoacana uh, meat market. But they they've been they've been pretty consistent. So um, it was like a dollar. I think it was a dollar thirty eight a pound or something like that. So it wasn't too bad at all. So um, 
in the morning, first thing in the morning, I'll start dicing up that pork and then we'll start prepping and all that. So hang in there. So I have, um, I have some corrupted files and I just, uh, hard to, uh, explain the seasoning and the process of uh, grinding the fresh cumin. So I buy the fresh cumin seeds and I have to uh, rough chop these. I'll grind them in that, like I said, uh, or, or grind them. The, um, the other seasonings that you see is a, a pack of bay leaves. I use about five or six of bay leaves, sometimes even some more. I have uh, the different chivas, uh, which is the So we're going to start just kind of coarse. Uh, again, uh, stress. <coughs> chopping these. Spicy. So you and we're going to dice them. Uh, go a little overboard, so it'll just be easy on that experiment first. Uh, I'm going to back off a little bit on my next cook. In small cubes. On New Year's Day. You can make um, this with um, the other one is chicken or pork. Or even, I don't think I've ever tried uh, beef salt or so pepper. I use uh, <coughs> uh, fresh ground, pepper, uh, ground pepper. That'd be more like a... The, the, the salt is just a regular uh, table salt. This uh, this recipe is not very hard. <coughs> of course, we, we use fresh garlic. This is garlic the boneless. I don't chop it up right anymore. It'll end up in, in some plate. And uh, you can pull that out. Also, the baby. Um, I try to pull them out. And uh, also, it's unsuccessful. Uh, another thing the oregano. Mexican oregano is different than what you're used to. Uh, 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 so here uh, is our uh, pork. Uh, we're going to be keeping it up. A little bit of lard, just so we can saute. Thirteen and a half pounds. Coming your way. bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. We're gonna brown this. Kind of let the let the walk through a little bit of work here.
Barcoding. Try to get some more heat around this area right here. So I just decided, okay, I'll just go downstairs and not make the crevice and wake my dog and then just open the window. And that's why I did that. Did I wake you up? Yep. And then I woke you up and I also wake up. I was the first wake up first. And I was the memory of the first wake up. Yep. Some chicken broth that, um, you here. Need me, that's why he's not so smart. No, no, see, I'm, 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 i am 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 So the liquid that I added uh, just now was from boiling the the water and the tea that I put. The the water was added to the food to make it soft. I'm going to be blending the wakio uh, together. Uh, I blend for, for a while just to, to get all the uh, make sure that we get all the little plates that we cut down as fine as possible. So take your time, make sure you have a really good blender. This is what's going to give us our red color. You can always sip it, sip it if you have and if a you lot have of to. flavor too. Um, I lost a lot of the intro. The boiling and all that of the chilies, but um, a little lesson learned here is that uh, I would only do the wakio and very little. Uh, the, well, oh, I can smell it already. 
I have some Bailey's spicy one. So this pot came in um, pretty, pretty. It had a good kick to it. I mean, for me and uh, some of the, the guys. I mean, just how we eat. Uh, also, all this and things like that. Real spicy. Oh yeah, jalapeno. Gonna like uh, grab them whole. Some of the kids. Try to leave them whole. About four or five bay leaves in it. Chili eater, uh, the audible grill. I'll give you a big tip. <clears throat> so, here we're going to be uh, adding our blend. 238. This is going to give us our red color, and you can you can add the, the wahio. You uh, can do that red color. What the is. <laughs> Um, there's, we had a lot of, you know, the, we had the neighbor's kids around, um, my kids We're going to give it and, about an uh, hour. Editing, uh, so please, uh, bear with us. Um, this was, uh, Christmas Day, so everybody was excited and showing mm -hmm. off their toys and all that. So, um, we're going to be simmering this, uh, it, it took us a good hour and a half to... Once we got everything in there uh, to get the meat to tender, to cook tender. So I did uh, add a little bit more water uh, throughout this process just so it could, uh, so it could have enough water to steam. As you can see, I'm taking my time blending here. There's no need to rush uh, this. Uh, Okay. See the pork's already starting to release some of so, the fluid. So we as we as we add this, you'll see the um, the change in the color. Um, there is some. I have used chili powder before when I started uh, trying to do these uh, salves, uh, the puerco and things like that. Uh, it'll give you a little different taste than what this is. Uh, not quite a menudo, but it's kind of there for uh, what it tastes like. Uh, we have um, different types of, of cheese at these meat markets that you could that you can locate. And you can ask for specifically for menudo or specifically for pozole. You can tell uh, that chili just changes everything instant, instant. So hang in there, and uh, you're, you're, we're getting close to the end. So the next thing that we gotta add, and we're gonna add, is a white hominy. This is what makes a pozole a pozole. Um, we're going to be opening it and just adding it in there. Uh, you can add it either now in the cook or wait till later. This kind of gives you a little more uh, depth on the on the sauce also because of the the starch that it'll release. <clears throat>
kind of pour, pour the water out. A lot of people use it. I don't. That worked out really, really well, I think. My only concern is that brick would break. some meat for your pozole. <clears throat> so we're gonna let that simmer. Put a bay leaf in there, you can take it out. You don't want to eat the bay leaf. We're going to take a little cilantro, a little chopped onions. And that's how we're going to play. When I came to Jean's house, I told her mom, her mom came, you know what happened? Mm -hmm. he, they said, we're going to karate after this is done sleeping. Oh, okay. And they said, maybe come out. Come Well, that's it. We're gonna pull it off the fire here. Start serving the kids. I'm gonna start inviting people to come over. And um, again, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Make sure you share this video with your friends. And um, and we'll catch you the next time.